everyone, it's Shilpa here and I'm here today with a tutorial for Wild Orchid Crafts and I'm just going to get stuck in and show you guys some of the products that I'll be using and also I'll show you some finished projects and I'll just be doing one more of those. So I'm going to move my sign out of the way and um, I'm going to quickly show you guys what I have made and I'll use. I'll also show you the products that I used as well. So um these are some really adorable little jars that I've vaulted and I think they're going to make perfect gifts. So they're really, really pretty, very shabby and just a really cute size as well. So they just fit in the palm of my hands. They are glass and they are functional because the top just unscrews so you can just put that back on. So um, you can use this idea for any size jar really but um, I'm going to as I said show you guys how I altered these and you can see here I've already made a set of four and I've got the fifth one that I'm going to be doing um, with you guys to just show you guys how easy and quick it is to um, alter a jar. So um, the products that I use, I'm just going to move these out of the way, <clears throat> excuse me. I used um, these beautiful miniature mixed pastel sweetheart blossoms MKX265 and as always the codes will be below for you guys. Um, I also used this pack of two-tone baby pink wild roses, oops, um, QVR024 is the code for those. And I'm just going to pop them here for a second. I've also used some Baker's Twine from Wild Ocker Crafts. And these are really, really good quality. And um, it's the Pink Divine Baker's Twine. And you get um, just over 10 yards. And there's so many different colours you can get this um, in Wild Ocker Crafts. The code is MKX545. And you'll see all the colour options will be available for you on the website. So I'll put all the codes below for you guys anyway. I've also used this beautiful Wild Ocker Craft lace. And this is so, so pretty with the little dangles. I don't have the code with me at the moment. I can't find the packaging, but I will put it below for you guys. But it is stunning. So, and um, some other bits and pieces that I've used are just some lace from my stash and also some other lace as well. Okay, so I'm just going to get started and show you guys um, the first thing that I did. Um, so this is my jar that I'll be altering. <clears throat> and the first thing I want to do is actually create this bow that's sitting on top of everything and then I can just go in and stick things on. So the bow... Um, is basically just a strip of lace of your choice um, in a little rectangular shape and I'm just going to scrunch it and use one of the um, stems from the uh, flowers so you can use the dark green, the light green, whatever colour you want because it's not going to be seen anyway so it's good to save some of these because we all snip them off the flowers and just um, bin them so it's nice to just keep hold of some. So it's dead easy, just twist a flower, twist a flower, twist a bow rather, and um, it's dead easy. So I've got my little bit here and I'm just going to twist until it tightens up. Twist and twist. And I think if you had loads of these, you can actually create flowers with loads of these little bows. And then I'm just going to snip the end bit off here. And that made a really cute bow, as you can see. So I'm just going to put that to one side. I've already pre-tied a double bow with the Baker's Twine, like so. So that can sit to one side. And then for the top of the jars, you can see I've used this flower. So I'm going to cut that up as well. And that is from this lace from my stash and I've already kind of like snipped into it so I love cutting lace up so I'm just going to cut this cutesy little flower out of this lace here so I've got my flower and all lace they all have a right side and a wrong side and you'll see the more shiny side is the right side and then the rough side is the back side okay um <clears throat> so first thing first on the jar is my beautiful lace and you need to make sure your glue gun is really hot because because it's glass you need the glue to be really hot so it just sticks on there so i'm going to find the right side of this lace 
so the, that's the right way up I'm going to put it flat and I'm going to leave the lid on I find that a bit easier and then start with my glue and it doesn't matter if you get glue strings you can just get rid of those afterwards I'm just going to hold on to it while it cools down and this doesn't take long at all these were just so much fun to make or alter rather and this is just a cute size and the Wild Ocker craft laces are perfect for um, your altered projects so I know how much I'm going to need so I'm just going to snip the bit that I don't need off and I'm just going to carry on and it doesn't matter if you're going to overlap in fact it's better if the lace is overlapped on itself it holds better I'm just going to carry on just go over there and stick that on there <clears throat> okay and wherever it joins that's where I'm going to put my bow so you don't see where it's joined etc and the back looks perfect and then on top of that I'm going to use my bow first so that's going to go onto here where I've joined these bits up Okay, let's give it a little squish. Then I'm going to have my Baker's Twine Bow on. And I'm just going to have it slightly like halfway down the middle of the first bow. Just going to stick that on. Okay. It's already looking really pretty and then on top of that it's gonna be one of these beautiful flowers and this is really really pretty like a misty pink really really beautiful shade of pink I'm gonna cut the back and I'm just gonna bend this back and I'm gonna pop a bit of glue there put this on the top and just give it a nice little squeeze so it holds nicely okay and then on the top is going to be this um, doily like flower that's going to sit on the top there so I'm going to put my glue on quite a lot of it on the top sit this on the top Hold on to it for a minute <clears throat> and then on the top of that is going to be one of these really pretty miniature sweetheart blossoms and I'm going to go for the pink that matches the baker's twine and also the larger rose at the front and I'm going to flatten this out so it looks like so I'm going to push the back to one side so I know it's all going to stay in place and then I'm going to put a blob of glue in the centre of that and I'm going to zoom in a bit actually and you can trim your little bow up if you want I think and I think that's done trim the baker's twine up a tiny bit get rid of the glue strings and that is it so this is my beautiful shabby altar jar there's the back that's the top there's the front and then there's the matching set of five so I'm really really happy with these and as I said they make the most adorable gifts tip for anybody and whoever's going to receive them is going to be really happy with them so those are my jars i hope you enjoyed this quick video and it's just so easy to use your lace up and just match them with your flowers or just get your small flowers out and start altering your bits and pieces around the house 
So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of my quick tutorial. And as I said, I'll put all the links below of the products that I've used um, in the description box. Uh, please go and check out Wild Ocker Crafts website. And I'll see you guys very soon with another project. Take care. Bye.